Hey guys, have you been curious to know how exactly I've been capturing footage of the Steam Deck directly from it? Well, wonder no more. Here is a really rough look behind the curtain. This is not a guide though, just a quick look. The thing is, back when Valve sent me a review unit, I was scrambling to find a way to do it because I'd never done it before. Thankfully, there is a huge amount of capture cards out there, but my problem was finding one that had good Linux support and the quality of the captures needed to be good too, and I didn't want one that would break my bank. I ended up settling on this, the Cloner Alliance Flint 4K Plus. It's a little bit overkill perhaps, at close to 200 British pounds, which for this kind of hardware is still pretty reasonable I think. And it was absolutely worth it though, because this little unit has been a true workhorse. The best part though, is just how it is plug and play. You plug the USB into the back, and then into your PC, then plug a HDMI to a monitor and to the capture card, and then another HDMI to either a dock or a USB hub, with me using the JSORX dock here for now, and you're pretty much good to go then on the hardware side. For the actual capturing though, I've been using OBS Studio on my Fedora Linux PC. It's pretty easy to use, Plus it's free and open source, and you only need to add in the video and audio capture sources, which then pulls it directly from the capture card, and then you can just hit record. My desk doesn't exactly have the most elegant setup, but it works, and really that's all I care about. Although, for when I am actually recording properly, I usually use the cheapo Levin Hub from Amazon, because then I can hold the deck in my hands easily, and that works great as well. So there we go, just a very quick look behind the scenes on what I use as some have been asking. I can easily recommend the Cloner Alliance 4K Plus for direct captures because it absolutely just works. It is plug and play, it's beautiful. It gets a little bit warm though, which now and then I get a bit concerned about, but I mean I've been using this for quite a few months with it plugged in 24 hours a day and it has not been an issue. I should note, nobody's paid me to talk about the Cloner Alliance Flint 4K+. Plus. I bought that with my own money because I needed it. And I'm simply recommending it now because it is fantastic. So there you go, a little peek behind the curtain. Catch you all later and thanks for watching my junk.